This is possibly the worst intro ever. Just with these fucking shades on my head and my North End, North End Legend t-shirt on. <laughs> That's, oh no, that was so bad. Okay guys, what is going on? It is Zippy, and today I want to talk about a few things. So, it, it's mainly just football on, on a vlogging channel. Um, the, the, well, I mainly vlog about football uh, anyway so far. But basically, I just wanted to talk, and these are just genuinely the, the worst shades. I'll just fuck off. Um, I wanted to talk today about what the England squad will be for uh, the Euros and for uh, Germany tonight. Um, now, I've probably gone and done another one on this on my other channel on uh, Zippy Gaming, so um, go on and check that out. I'll I'll try and link it down below. Um, I probably won't have done it by the time I put this up, but uh, basically. What I reckon will happen, <coughs> um, you got to go for the three teams here. So let's, uh, and let me give you what I think will be the team. Okay guys, so the keepers to start off with, of course. Um, now, I was a bit kind of torn apart for the third keeper that we take with us. Um, because we've had a lot of young talent coming through this season. Um, the two keepers you'd have to take with you would have to be Hart and Butland. But then the third one has kind of got me, because we've got a couple of good keepers coming through this season. Um, like Fraser Forster could go. Um, who else? Tom Heaton. Pickford, even. You know, he used, he used to play for Preston. Pickford could even go. He's, he's been doing well enough. Whether he will is a different story. I don't, I, but it's, you know, it's kind of confusing with the third keeper. Hart and Butland are the obvious choices, but the third one kind of gets you. Um, I'm not sure who will take, but hopefully it'll definitely be those two, but then somebody, I'm, I'm interested to see who the third keeper will be. Uh, but let's just see what ends up of it, I guess. Okay, guys, then on to the defenders we go. So I've picked two left-backs, two right-backs, and I've only picked three centre-backs because I couldn't decide on the fourth. Um, this, this might not actually be right, but basically, uh, I think we'll take Rose and Bertrand for left backs. I think we'll take Klein and Walker for right backs. Then Cahill, Smalling, Stones, and but then I'm not sure who. I'm not. I don't. I'm not sure whether we'll take John Terry or somebody else. I don't think we'll take Terry. If we do, then you know it'll be. I'm not sure about the. Full centre back option because we could take Terry, but we could take somebody else. Um, but hopefully, like, I mean, we need somebody who's got experience and who can defend because at the moment, defending for us has just been absolutely shambolic. Okay, then let's move on to the midfield. <laughs> now, with the midfield, it's um, it was kind of tough. So, with the central midfielders, I've again, I've been stumped, I couldn't pick. Because my mind went blank, I'm fucked. I've just fucked off today. My my brain's just decided to take a day off. It's like, see ya. I'm not fucking arsed today. I can't be arsed. So yeah, sick. Um, but the midfielders I have chosen would be Sterling, Lennon. Uh, so like Sterling, Sterling and Lennon on the wings if necessary. Then Barkley is a shoe in to go because he's been brilliant this season. Same with Deli Ali. James Milner's been pretty good and. Uh, Jordan Henderson has also been very good, but uh, I'm not sure who else. Who would you say though? Just leave it down below if uh, there's anybody you could add into my list here. Now, um, something uh, there's, that did pop up. I was uh, looking through the preview for the game on Mexico Sports. I was reading through, and it said there were a few injury concerns for tonight's game against Germany. Um... So Hart not starting, he's injured. So is Danny Rose. Sterling's injured as well, and so is Rooney. But uh, that won't, that might not stop them from going to the Euros, though. But um, that, that is the midfielders, and let's move on to the strike. Now there are only so many choices I could go for strikers, and uh, I was debating on whether to put one or two in because of seasons that other players have had. But in the end, I probably because everybody probably predicted the same thing. But they probably all went for Rooney, Kane, Sturridge, and Vardy. Rooney's had a pretty good season 
Um, I'm sorry to all you Man City fans. He, I am afraid he has had a, a, an okay season. Uh, Kane's had a really good season. He's had a lot of informs on FIFA, and he's been, I've, from what I've seen from him, he's played re really, really well, and which is a good thing, of course. Daniel Sturridge has had a, a decent season. He, he's had better ones, but he's had, a, he's still had a good one this season. And then Jamie Vardy. Where, where to start? He's one of the top goal scorers in the division, in, in the Premier League. Uh, he broke a record this season. He's been outstanding, and he'd be a sh it, everybody would be really pissed off with the manager, with the England manager, if he did not pick Jamie Vardy. Uh, so that'd be that. It, it'd have to be Vardy, wouldn't it? It just had to be. Um, but anyway, that is the team that I have picked. If there is anybody you think should go in, comment down below on who you think could go. But anyway. Uh, I am just that is the team basically. So I'm gonna leave it there for now. Uh, if there, like I say, if there is anything, comment down below on what you think it could be. Um, I'm gonna leave it with you. Thank you guys for watching. I will see you later, and hopefully you will watch the video on my other channel. Goodbye.